All right. I actually just realized I should actually mute the set the volume of this to like zero. Because <laughs> I, I actually want to play the cycle and farm a little more. Let's move my camera, but over here. So, yep. Also, I can feel my muscles starting to atrophy a little bit. Because I was so busy yesterday, I didn't even have a chance to really exercise. So, I gotta make sure I exercise today. Alright, so anyway. So, as promised, uh, be uh, doing more of these minor projects because I'm not really sure who the original one is. So I think it's still B and B minor finance. Because uh, I actually made a mistake in yesterday's video. There, there were. And I actually, you actually could see it on on the, on the screen too. You're paying attention. It came out on March 22nd of last year, not this year. So, so MDV was actually not wrong. He actually was correct. And he said there's, these projects have been around for a long time, these type of projects, but only BNB Miner was the one that survived them all because they only pay out 3% a day. So I'm actually thinking that as long as the dev fee, because uh, the dev fee is really more like a tax, right? But the money goes to the developer himself. So you're really getting, so in this case, you're getting 8% a day, but then when you withdraw, it's actually 7% profit. You know, uh, Ruby mine yesterday has a three percent developer fee, so you're you're really pulling out. You're, so you're still making pre-tax eight percent a day, for example. And I did ask MDV for clarification. Uh, he actually did say they strictly enforce it somehow. So I'm like, uh, okay. I just take his word for it because he obviously knows more about it than me, right? And he obviously doesn't. I mean, usually, I mean, I can only think of like one or two projects maybe that he recommended that was not good, All right? But the rest of his projects were definitely like big money makers. I'm probably, I, I think I'm still in them to this day. In fact, I don't even think MDV ever has recommended a bad project, I guess, I think. I don't know. It, it'd be so minor that everyone else would have gotten screwed too. So, you know, very good track record, that's for sure. So, uh... What do I have to say here? Uh, okay, so I'm definitely loving these brand new uh, minor projects. So the only, so again, you know, I was talking to MDV about it, and he did say that you know these things could last at least. I mean, sometimes they only last three, four weeks, but the vast majority of them do appear to last at least a few months to you know, up 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 to like so far a year and one month because that's us how old uh, BNB Miner is. So. You know, uh, as long as I think the fees are reasonable, and we'll have to see what happens with, uh, you know, because because so far this particular, because Lucky Cat right now actually has four chains. One's on Cardano. I don't remember the, the other one's on Avax, I think, which I'm not going to do, simply because I don't want to deal with the fees. Uh, and I already have Ruby mine. I mean, technically Lucky Cat's better now because lower fees and and no penalties, but. That comes with a cost, right? The sustainability of the project, you know, goes down, right? Because more people can just pull profit. But I've been looking at this, and the next video will be the Phantom version of Lucky Cat. And so far, I mean, the contract size has been growing, right? Ruby Mine has been growing too, right? Because of their uh, pretty nutty, like I guess, penalty system or whatever. So. Uh, you know, it's working really well. I'm really liking these minor projects. So far, I've been uh, pulling a, a pretty a pretty good income from it. All right? I didn't really put that much in. All right? I'm not going to tell you the amount, but yeah, I actually like it a lot. And because there's no capital gains risk, essentially, because you're, you're, you pay in and you get paid out in your base token. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, what I like about it is it's simpler than a tomb fork. The fees are basically minimal. Like even AVAX fees aren't that bad for me to compound. Of course, the withdrawal it's still like two percent or whatever, right? Whatever uh, Carbata game happens to be hogging the network for at that point in time. Uh, but you know, you know, I if I get if I pay in in Phantom, I get paid out in Phantom, right? I get paid in in AVAX, I get paid out in AVAX. I pay in in Binance Coin, I get paid in in Binance Coin. So it, it, it's actually really nice. You know, I, it's actually really nice. And then if you're really paranoid about the current market drop, which so far actually isn't doing too bad, because now this, the, the fucking crypto markets have been so oversold and overblown, as, as the markets always do, right? Because the bond markets are behaving normally, right? In fact, I actually see the yields going down by a lot. Holy cow. Yeah, because the market... 
And markets always do this. They always overreact, right? And then, and then now that the U.S. Treasury debt yields are, sh are showing juicy returns, quote unquote, for like, you know, big governments or whatever, because that's the people, or I guess really rich institutions, yeah, they buy this shit up like, like no tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah, you could convert your earnings into Dai or Dai stablecoin. That's my preferred coin, or Binance dollars, or USDC or US Tether, right? Just go, and just store in. Um, in stables so choice is yours so there's really not much to say I'm obviously not gonna use my referral link because I just don't want to bother with this shit all right because because I because I don't have to manage all these other like two things at once it's like you know I already have my personal account obviously so I just use that and on top of that if I'm pulling out this much money anyway like that could uh, that'll drain the contract faster like let's say I was a multi-billionaire like you know Elon Musk right I mean, I wouldn't put that nearly this much, but, you know, if I had that much money, I would put in, like, I don't know, like, 50 to 100 Binance coin. Like, Binance coin? Yeah, BNB. Binance. Yeah, Binance coin. Not to be considered Binance dollar, which is what I was getting confused with. You know, I would put, like, a, you know, a percent, nice percentage of this, but not so big that it kind of, like, you know, screws up the thing, right? Because then I own the contract, and that's not a good, that's not a good thing. All right, because you're using your own money to pump yourself. So it looks good. It looks very, very solid. And uh, again, as always, I mean, these are still very new projects. I think this thing's only going to look, let's see. Yeah, this launched three days ago. So very, very early. Very, very early. All right. So, oh, yeah. So usually if the developer is good, what he'll do is he'll take his 1% fee and then put some of it back into the project to keep it going. And then, of course, he uses it to market and whatever. So this is definitely a proven concept because when we do the last video, which is bakedbeans.io, they are they're like supposedly two months old or something, but they already have like eight million dollars in TVL. So that's why you're seeing all these minor projects pop back up again. Yeah, I, lo I love this. I love this. How long it's sustainable, I don't know, but I'm able to compound. I just compounded yesterday, last night, because I usually like to take profit at night before I go to bed. So I took profits yesterday. Got my BND, and I got or I got my Phantom, or I got my well, I didn't, I didn't withdraw from AVAX because of what MDB said. So for now, my Ruby mine will just keep compounding, and then this Saturday I'll take you know my weekly profit, and I'll see what actually happens. You know, so uh, let's see, yeah. So with that being said, check out Lucky Cat. I will not be giving my affiliate link out, so just and I'll be adding this to my playlist. Uh, I've already removed Cannaverse War from the playlist, so I kind of want to maybe get rid of a couple other projects. But the problem is, I mean, all crypto projects are basically down except Sphere, which is skyrocketing. I mean, it. I mean, at this point, Sphere is now the standard bearer of the industry, right? And uh, they're really draining all the money of all the other Titano forks, including Titano. Which makes sense because obviously Sphere is the superior product with actual superior developers. Like Sim is literally on like, yeah, you know, like that guy's gonna be a multi. I mean, he's already probably a multi-millionaire. I don't know how many tokens he has, but Sim is definitely gonna be on his way to managing a multi-billion-dollar with a B uh, project. So, uh, but it's good. It's good. He believes in God like I do, and hopefully all of you do. So I'm not surprised, right? Because you, know you know what God said, right? Or maybe Jesus Christ. No, yeah, Jesus Christ said that about God, right? Through, through him, as in God, you know, all, the impossible becomes possible, right? I think I got out of, uh, you know, my $60,000 blunder from Metaverse Pro in such a quick amount of time, all right? Well, you didn't do that. I didn't do that either, right? God told me what to do, and then, well, here I am, you know, and now I'm in... You know, I'm doing extremely well. I'll tell you that much. I'm doing extremely. I pr I'm pretty much back. All right. No, I am back. I'm just not telling you how much I have. And obviously, funny enough, I'm still on track to maybe become a multimillionaire by the end of this year. Of course, if crypto continues to be, you know, manipulated like what we've been seeing, well, I mean, okay, well then that doesn't happen. But that's okay. I mean, I'll still have like. I I know I'll have way more money at the end of this year, provided I don't make another blunder, which I will not. All right, I'm not like. I mean, I guess maybe if I get hacked somehow, that's really the only risk. 
Uh, but that's always a risk that, you know, I'm always aware of, and you should be too, all right? So make sure you don't go to crazy websites, you know, otherwise they're just going to, otherwise, you know, it'll be like some sort of injection or something, and it'll just steal your keys, all right? Uh, but yeah, aside from that, you know, we'll just see how things go, you know, we'll just see how things go. All right, so I'm going to get back to playing the cycle, so we got to pump out two more videos. They're all, they're all these, because right now Titano Forks are not launching and slow, right, or they're scams. Uh, I'm still waiting on a couple of Tomb Forks. Uh, in fact, I only have one, right, and I only found that out through Yield Wolf, so I'm going to check that out probably tomorrow, all right, because... Because I, I actually already started pumping Dante Finance, so I need a little time to build that up to an okay position on Yield Wolf so that I can start pulling profit from it, you know. You know, reach the critical mass, quote-unquote. I'm still waiting for America Money to go on Yield Wolf too, but I guess Brandon still needs to modify contracts and stuff, which is fine, so whatever. And, of course, Paper Financial is doing its thing. I mean, it's kind of sucks that they've been getting hit so hard, too, but... You know, they're still doing well, so whatever, you know. I, I just pull profit from every day and just store a staple coin for now. You know, just wait it out. You know, just wait it out. All right, so that's it. Check out Lucky Cat uh, on Binance Coin. Next video will be a Phantom version of this. There's an AVAX version, uh, which I, know, I guess we could take a look. AVAX.Lucky. Yeah, I mean, we kind of need the, we kind of need the, uh, I have to connect to find out how much is in this wallet. Uh, well, we need the, we need the content, don't we? We need the wrong network. Oh, it didn't switch. Avalanche. All right, so here's the contract. It's pretty low. This was also launched, so they launched everything all at the same time. So it's obviously a lot less than uh, Dime, uh, Ruby Mine, but okay. You know, I guess we'll just add this to the content queue. But to be honest, I'll just do it tomorrow. All right, I'm already doing three videos today. I mean, these are very short videos anyway, so I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let me set this back to Binance Coin. Yeah. So, but it's looking very, very healthy. In fact, what's 493 AVAX? What's 493 AVAX? No. WebCalc 2.0. I don't know. I think it said 493. It's close enough. $493 times $75. That, oh, wow. AVAX? AVAX Lucky Cat is worth 37 grand. That's really low. I mean, the BNB version of this is worth way more. This is four hundred two dollars. Yeah, this is worth three hundred fifty grand. Why the hell is their AVAX version so low? I don't know. I guess I'll just do a video on it anyway. I mean, they're all basically the same. Oh, you know what? It's also probably, maybe I bet the gas fees too. That's kind of a problem. Oh well, we'll see. Yeah, right now AVAX is not a good place to invest because of fucking Krabata game. Like that's the problem, Krabata game, right? And all these asshole predator. I mean, they're not really a predator project. They're just being fucking assholes about it. It's like it just it just destroys other projects because we can't use the fucking gas fee. It's so fucking annoying. But you know, what, what are you gonna do? All right, I'll see you next video. It'll be the Phantom version of Lucky Cat, and uh, you know. Actually, come to think of it, it's actually pretty low, pretty low amount of TVL because Phantom has worked so little. But there's already a lot of Phantom coins anyway. So yeah, it's at least how I feel about it. So whatever. Like, subscribe, share the videos, and uh, yeah, let's keep on the channel. I don't even know we're at 1300 yet. I know we're really, really close. So yep. See you. See you. See you in just a very short bit. Thanks.